it. There we go. Now we're ready. We're on. Let me uh, let me lower that. Uh, let me see if I can bring uh, this up here so that I. Uh, uh, hello, everybody. How are you? Uh, are you all okay? I hope so because uh, we uh, uh, we want to. Uh, uh, Colin, do uh, wait a minute. Hold on a second. I'm, I've got. I'm trying to clear up a few things here that uh, uh, cause me a little grief, and we want everything to be just fine so I can see stuff. Okay. Anyway. Can we put that in the what? middle? What? The microphone. Microphone. They can hear you. I'm all don't, the way over don't here. Don't worry. Okay. Move in further. See. See. Okay. Now we have to turn the phones on. Okay. Skype. Uh, online. There Call goes Skype. What? Okay. All right. So uh, we're online now. So, so we're can waiting call for you to call in. Yeah. But don't worry. The microphone is just fine. I want it in the uh, middle. It doesn't matter if you want it in the middle. <laughs> you can't have it the way you want it. Uh, there. Isn't that a lesbian shirt, folks? It's not a lesbian isn't shirt. Isn't that a lesbian style shirt? It's a jean shirt. Huh? It's a jean shirt. It's a jean shirt? Yeah, I wore it to work. Anyway, so we're Friday. Waiting. Friday is, is, is casual Friday. Uh-huh. So before the, I were, had 20 people in the office, I, for five years I went to jeans every single day. Oh, really? Now it's just Friday, and it's like a big thing. Okay. There's no way I would not go to the office So this jeans. is that night I fear nobody's calling. Here we go. Yeah. Well, we have us. Well, we do. We have the two of us here. And, uh, um, you know, what are you looking at yourself? Oh, here we go. We start off with Scott Boddicker, ladies hey, and Scott. gentlemen. Uh, hey. Hey, How Scott. You How you doing? Just wanted to see the lesbian shirt. <laughs> huh? Yeah. You see the lesbian shirt there? Look, oh, yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. yeah totally. Look, it's there it is. a lesbian shirt. And the hat. Oh, yeah, well, yeah, yeah. You got the hat, the I lesbian shirt. Yeah, yeah. 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 Anyway. So how are you doing tonight, Where's Scott? Where's our picture? What? Where's our picture? Well, right down the bottom there. Let In the see. corner. In the corner. <laughs> oh, we'll put it on. No, we... no. Just don't. I can't, I can't see do anything. that. You, you don't. You, all you have to see is him. We're not important now. Hi. It's, it's the Scott. It's the Scott <laughs> it's show. It's the Scott show. Yeah. Hi, Scott. Great. Yeah. Oh, good, good. No, the hat, I like it. It makes like you, it. I don't know, you look younger. But is that not a lesbian shirt? It's not a, it's a jean shirt. That's I wouldn't it. say it's a jean shirt, is it? Yeah, but it's not a lesbian shirt. What's a lesbian shirt? What you're wearing. It is not. <laughs> I've identified it as a lesbian shirt. Oh, it's so high def when you're the only one. It's nice. Yeah. Really? Isn't it? Yeah. Isn't oh, it? Yeah. 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 No one else can call in now. We're just going to sit here. And right. Talk we're, about nothing. I'll just sit here and listen to you talk. Yeah. Well, now we wonder if anybody will call. Let's see. You've got a lot of background. What? What's that pattern behind you? Noise. Pa oh, you know what that is? That's, that's a curtain, isn't okay, it? Okay. I'll turn curtain. this down. Yes. It's, what? Oh, it was, a, it's a window. It curtain. said I have a lot of background noise, which was the air conditioner because I had two oh, mics on. At the I was same looking time. at the background pattern. Somebody yeah. said that, or it just showed no, up in no, your. No, Scott. Here's Sky, Phil Meyer. Sky, Here's Phil Meyer. Don't, 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 let me handle this. Okay. Don't, don't. Mm -hmm. Just pay attention to Scott. Hi, pay Scott. attention to the show. Look, Phil Meyer is calling. Yes, we know Phil's calling, and uh, it's. Uh, uh, let me answer that. Hmm. There, there we there go. There he is. Hey, Phil. How you doing? Greetings. I'm doing just fine. Wait a minute. Hold on a second. Do I have it here? No, I don't. I don't have my... Uh, there he is. Uh, uh, yeah, but I'm looking for my happy birthday song, but I don't happy have it. Happy birthday no. to you. you. Happy birthday? Yes. Happy birthday to you. you. Happy birthday, Thank dear Phil. Phil. Happy birthday to happy you. Okay, birthday we got that over to with. You. <laughs> oh, Thank you. You. Yeah, you both gave me happy birthday greetings uh, over Facebook. I did you send him a Facebook? Yes, you know what's nice about Facebook? It reminds you. Right. It tells you that so and so has a birthday today. Oh. I think that's great. It didn't remind me. Reminded me. But it, in fact, it's. Well, it, how did you find in out? In fact, it said it's it's uh, Phil Meyer's birthday, but he's too far to the right, so don't wish him a happy birthday. That's what <laughs> I it said. wish him happy. And birthday. I think that's because, as we all know, Facebook is a left-wing organization. You know, I keep getting this crap from Mother Jones. Really? I, I can't tell you how much left-wing crap comes over Facebook. Uh, and and right-wing. Well, uh, uh, no, here's no, what no I'm... right-wing. Oh, yeah. Right -wing. Oh, yeah. Here's what I'm amazed about, that Mother Jones even exists anymore. Yeah. 
I don't know how I got it, who's, who hooked me up on it, but uh, it, it's consistent, you know, just dribble. Uh, Trump said this, Trump is, is, is on a death watch. You know, <laughs> it's, uh, and, and it's all Mother Jones. Well, you know, they really do go out after Trump a lot. Let me, I have to look at some stuff here. Uh, they do go after Trump a lot. And, uh, but, but come on, you've got to admit, that whole thing at his at his at his uh, stupid uh, golf club place, his golf uh, lodge or whatever that thing is in Scotland, he's running for president. This is not a promotion, you know. Hey, you know, uh, he, he's going to need I, to keep his job just, though. The, you know, he had business, and you know, everybody else didn't go over to deal with this EU thing, which could be. Affecting uh, the world economy. Oh my God! Oh, by the way, hello, right. Jason. Hi, Jason. How's it going? Hi, hey, Jason. You know the banks have already uh, done. It, it it could be a massive effect on the world economy. And he was there. Where was it? Oh, where were the rest? Wait, wait, he, he gave he, one he, sentence. He gave one wait, sentence wait, wait, in Scotland yeah. that said, "I think that, that Num the number UK, one." Let me just say, yeah. I think the UK did a great job. And then he started talking about his. Is, uh, golf club he wasn't there. The he wasn't there because of the rent. UK and because of the Brexit. He was it, there because it, he was opening his goddamn golf uh, uh, place. It was a twofer. It was a twofer. No, but yeah. it, but no. You know, here's the thing. You're running for president now. You're not. It's not like. Uh, by the way, I'm going to do wonderful things for this country, and we're going to build a wall, and we're going to take care of immigration. And next time you're in Florida, go to Mar-a-Lago. You know, I mean. I don't, there's one more person on this earth that would vote for him whether he went or didn't go. Uh, I think that uh, those that wouldn't vote for them, him, he could stand on his head and he could offer free memberships to Mar-a-Lago yeah. uh, to every Floridian. And, you know, if they if they voted for him and they wouldn't, you know, he'll, he'll he's going to get what he gets. And... Uh, uh, you know, so I, I I think he's pretty much a, a, a realist. Lance, are you there? Lance, can you hear us? Now we lost Lance. Okay. Go back, Lance. Uh, but here's the thing. Here's the thing, though. Number one, uh, he did this speech in Scotland where he barely mentioned one sentence. Brexit. It was one like sentence. one sentence. Well, Scotland wants to is, is secede from the e of the. Uh, okay. Well, 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 first of all, well, they, uh, they, well, wait, voted, wait, wait, they voted to stay in. Did, did they, so the first thing oh, out of his mouth is how great wait, it Talk was. into the microphone. Well, you, well the microphone's no, 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 all the way over no, there. You talk, yes, you look into the microphone and talk into so the, the microphone. So the first thing that he said, the first thing that he said was, hey, the UK did right. And, of course, he's saying this in Scotland, and they voted to stay in. Well, I, I don't, you know, I, I don't know that the UK did right. You know, this, no, this he's is saying that they did right. They, yeah. Yeah. What? So now uh, you're going to have to agree with the fact that he did right because Trump said so. Right. Yeah. And then he started yeah, talking but, about the uh, didn't, a few weeks ago, in the though, lighthouse. A few few weeks ago, though, did, wasn't he against them leaving the EU? No, he's always been on his it. on his swift boat. First, he was he's he going to lose money. See, now the elite is going to lose money now. Yeah, they're going to come and stay at his place. No, but they get, they, he says more people will come and stay at my place. But there was the speech he gave paid lip service to the whole Brexit thing. And secondly, oh, he, he was giving the speech in Scotland where the uh, overwhelming amount of Scots voted, to voted stay. To stay for in. to stay in the EU. So he was uh, making the speech in the wrong place. The you know. Scots voted to stay in after they... Uh, uh, twisted the uh, UK's arm because the UK wanted them to stay in so they gave them all sorts of concessions and, and so forth to get the Scots but to it, stay in it then wasn't to stay in the EU is to stay part of the UK right yeah, stay part of the UK yeah, that was the vote they had yeah now yeah. now it That's looks like they're going to go for the vote again they and, they'll, are. and they'll bail out of being part yeah. of, yeah. of and, the uh, British Empire and so a lot of other countries Ireland next. East, Italy, Portugal I, I think it's uh, that whole system's going to fall apart. It's well, I think Scotland will probably secede from the rest of Britain, and then we'll probably stay in the EU. Okay, yes. that's what I think well, is going to happen. I, maybe it worked for Scotland. You know, what, you got what, bogs. You got to fill them up with somebody. You know, come on oh, over. What, what, what's going to be left of the EU? Because you got France already talking about leaving. Yeah. You got the Netherlands talking about leaving. 
you know, people are tired of globalization, you know, and maybe we can throw NAFTA well, out. It didn't, yeah. it didn't work out as the, much as they expected it to, you know. Uh, uh, Lance Ullery's with us. Are you there, Lance? Lance? Are you there? I'm trying to be. Oh, okay. <laughs> I'm, I'm over here somewhere. <laughs> Uh, well, we'll let you. I want you to make a little no, picture. Look, Just I, put no, it over no, here. Look, oh, I, no. you not, I can't do it. You did no, it always. No, I, it. I, I, the only way I can, you know, she's trying to tell me how to run this equipment, and she doesn't even know how to run the equipment. If I want you, if you just want to have your picture up, then none of them will show no, up. But just no, I can't do that. Hey, Alex, don't you, didn't you say you have a separate computer over where she's at? Yeah, yeah. where she sat a, normally. Yeah. Couldn't you just have her call into Skype, have her mute the microphone on that feed, but have a microphone tied into the feed that you're on? Yeah, but let's not try it now. <laughs> well, not now, but it seems like that'd be like a five minute. No, but, setup. but what she's saying, she wants to see her picture, and I said oh. we can't because the only picture we have here is the feed that's going out to live stream, but and it has to contain these fine people who are part of the citizens panel who are more important than you are to the process. Oh, you hear this? Boy, Audrey, Audrey, you, you, you look simply marvelous. You know, I, I should have really uh, let her take a hat. I love the hat. I, I, re I, I really should have let her take a pill tonight. It's, <laughs> <laughs> I'm awake. I'm here. But oh uh, anyway, MSNBC, who I was listening to this morning, Morning Joe, they um, turned the mic off from Trump because they said, we're not going to give him free advertisement. No, what is this? Cancel. Yes, they will. <laughs> giving them enough free stuff. In the middle, oh, in, in the God. middle of doing this TV thing tonight, Skype mm -hmm. puts up a thing saying, "How are you liking our service?" <laughs> Would you take a minute and take this yeah. survey? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, great, great TV. Thank you very much, Skype. God, I hate Skype. I wish there was something better than Skype. You know. Well, the one that that is it Amazon or Microsoft puts out. Uh, here comes Google. Lance again. Hey, Lance, Lance, if you can't get it, hello, Lance. How are you? Are you there? Maybe he's calling on the laptop or a, Lance, a are you there? I'm, I'm here, but I can't get a, I can't get a, I'm, hello? Yeah, we well, if you, you can't get it, then you better not call us tonight. Oh, we're, we're log in again. Yeah, log in again. We want you to stay. Yeah. I'm going to be leaving. But, you know, if I have to constantly <laughs> deal with you calling and not calling and hanging up and not getting a sign, you know, it says uh, me. And, and a wife who wants to see her picture all the oh, time. Oh, now you made him mad. Shit happens. Huh? Shit happens. That's right. Alex, you're mean. You're right. No, but if, if you have a person and they can't get on and they're having trouble getting on and they call over and over and over again, it becomes a distraction. It wouldn't be as bad if it weren't TV night. Yeah. yeah okay. Supposed to you know, then I could deal right. with it. Are you, are you going? I'm getting ready. Are you sure? You, yeah. Aren't you tired? No, I want to annoy you. <laughs> so she's going to go out to a Oh, man. Oh, I want, man. I'm I want tired. to annoy him. I am tired. Isn't it hot in here? <laughs> my goal in life is to be annoying. It's, it's, it's my last it's Friday in New York, Marjorie. I can swing by and pick you up. We can go out. All Let right. Them when are you moving? Yeah. <laughs> when, are you moving Tuesday. Wow. Tuesday. So, do you have a, so are you going to call us from the road? <laughs> If I could see the road. <laughs> yeah, yeah, but I mean, uh, do you have a portable or what do you use? No, I, I, I don't have an I, you know, a, a smartphone. I've got a flip phone, actually. So. A flip phone? <laughs> who do you, who do you think you are, uh, Captain? What is it, a jitterbug? Who do you, who, who do you think you are, Captain Kirk? Uh, what? You can, you can call in with a flip phone. You dial the phone number. It wouldn't uh, matter yeah. what you're on. You can just dial our phone number. Yeah. yeah, I might do that. Yeah, we'll see. I mean, I'll probably get bored. Can't see yeah, much. But once you get to Texas, you're gonna have your computer there. Oh yes, I got I got everything all packed up and ready to load. So when? How long will it take you to get there? In other words, when will we hear to, from you next? Three days to get my dialysis, or bad things will happen. I, I was thinking wow. about that. You're traveling to Texas. Can you do it on the way? Yeah. Or or do they have an ex extra long hose? They, they will give me an envelope, which will be on my dashboard, and if something should happen, I go to the local police department, they direct me to the hospital, and I get my cleaning. And then yeah. after that, i got to deal with whatever the problem is. I, but I plan on driving straight through. So you gonna, How long will it take? About 26 hours. Are you going to get the dialysis just before you leave? Yes. Yeah. That's, that's why I'm leaving right after dialysis. Well, you know, I here's what I never could figure out. 
Mm -hmm. One of the most famous uh, um, uh, uh, kidney guys of all time, mm -hmm. uh, who, who was on dialysis, was Osama bin Laden. Oh, yeah. Uh, and I'm just wondering, uh, how did he run around those mountains and everything having to get cleansed out every three days? As long as you have a charger, there's a portable unit, which I'm not eligible for, Medicare won't pay for, where I do my own dialysis. I could do it at home. It's a very oh. expensive machine. How much and, is it? Uh, someone told me it's about 50 grand. Well, now, you see, if I had a big enough audience here, we could all just <laughs> chip in a buck apiece. <laughs> well, can't you go on one of those starter things? Go oh, fuck yeah. me. Yeah. Why, no, yeah, why, go on Shark Tank. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, let me tell you something. There's an advantage to my dialysis. The nurses there are younger than me, and me, even being at 56, I consider myself a dirty old man, so... I have a field day while I'm there. I actually look forward to it. Wait so. till you're 76. <laughs> <laughs> I may be cranky and whiny like some people yeah. we know. I don't want to mention any names. <laughs> I didn't say anything. <laughs> and, and Bishop's no better. He's and another. With that, I'm going to say good night, everyone. Okay, good night. Mm. Good, uh, good night, good night. guys. Yeah. Thanks See for letting me join you. Yeah. Okay, don't forget to take off your earphones there and move that chair back there. She walks and gets yanked back. Are you, to, are you going to give her back her deposit? Yeah, I don't. I don't. Close the door. Boy, the air conditioning is it's not working that well tonight. Anyway, I got to tell you, it's rough in here. Uh, anyway, oh, somebody else is calling. Lance again. Okay, let's give it another hey, try. Time's a charm. It, he must reboot it. Oh, I'm trying to add him, and it won't add him. Uh oh. Oh God. Trying on a uh, a previous connection. Yeah. Is that what it is? He might have made a mistake after three or four times. You know. Yeah, I I couldn't I I kept hitting the plus on that you know hitting that add person to the group and it didn't work. Hey Phil, I tried to uh, say happy birthday, but you can't let you don't let people respond on your Facebook page. So happy birthday! Uh, oh, I only get it uh, on the um, what is that? The message thing? What yeah, I was gonna message you. That was too much work to say happy birthday. <laughs> oh, thank you. happy birthday! Oh, thank so you. I decided to call him the Gabnet just to tell you happy birthday. Well, yeah. thanks. I, I went to the track today. Oh yeah, you uh, bet on some horses. Uh, well, uh, I I was gonna bet. I know you weren't there to horses. run. No, I was going to bet the six and two horse, but I was so busy trying to get a decent picture. And man, the crowd! As soon as the horse race starts, they just jump down to the fence, and uh, you know, I'm I'm all set up for a great shot on on a turn, and uh, the, the, some old lady gets in front of me, and she must have taken 20 seconds to push the uh, shutter, and that was the best shot. And she missed it, and she made me miss it. The first race was uh, donkeys. Had four donkeys, and the, the rider fell off. I mean, literal donkeys. Literal donkeys. Special donkeys to uh, to race around this track. It was the Alameda County Fair uh, 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 racetrack. You know, they have you know horse horse racing. So you know, the first one was donkeys, and this donkey threw his rider. And I would have had that shot if the old lady wasn't in my way. And I wasn't courteous enough to wait for her. And I finally got in front of her, and she says, well, I haven't taken my shot yet. And I said, look, it's been 15 seconds. If you couldn't press the shutter, you know. Wow. <laughs> anyway, yeah. we could use some more callers, folks. It is TV night, you know, and after it's all over, you can go onto our site and see yourself. Do you do oh, that, Phil? What? Watch yourself after... Uh, TV Asian. night. Uh, huh? uh, sometimes I touch myself, but <laughs> but occasionally, uh, yeah. I, I sometimes listen to the show, especially if there's something controversial that went on, and I and I want to remember what I what I said or didn't Do say. Do you ever look so at it and an go, asshole. "God, am I an <laughs> asshole"? Did you ever? Does that ever happen? No, I I just think that about everybody else. I see. <laughs> I see. Ah, uh, narcissism, isn't it great? Yeah, it's the best I thing ever. I learned from Alex. Huh? I learned, he says a narcissist isn't that great. I said, I learned from you. <laughs> <laughs> my, my, my inner sense is telling me that Rob Alfano is going to call shortly. Mm -hmm. I can tell because it lights up and says here, Rob Alfano's online. 
I'm trying to get Rob Alfano 35 bucks. It oh. seems as though uh, I he had cat insurance. So I signed up for dog insurance. But I didn't know that if I put down Rob Alfano's name, uh, that he would have gotten 35 bucks. Uh, reference? So, uh, yeah. So I'm trying to figure out how to get him the 35 bucks. But, uh, really? You know, why not? It's better than kicking Well, he might be here any second. Cancel your I have insurance no and re-sign up. All I saw is that he signed on, so that, that, but that doesn't mean he's going to call. You know. Yeah. Well, maybe he's calling that other show, you know, uh, that that has the uh, Canada. Uh, no, 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 not the Canadian <laughs> show, but you know the. Uh, here's 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 James. Here's his panels. James Lee's calling in from Hawaii. Hello, James. Oh, hi, Mr. Bennett. How are you, sir? Okay, fine. Do you copy uh, my audio or? I copy. Sound? I copy your audio over and whatever. I don't know what. The what is that at. beautiful picture? Yeah, and now it will probably see him in uh, lush. There he is in paradise. There he is, yeah. ladies and gentlemen. See my dirty laundry behind me. See, okay. uh, yeah, right. Uh, 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 the beautiful <laughs> foliage of paradise with uh, dirty laundry hanging from it. It's well, you know, hey, all all Hawaiian homes are messy. You know that, sir. Come on. Now, do you We're have country. a do you have a dryer? Well, I mean, you know, we have a dryer, but the problem is these things are very damp. You know, you have to air dry to get the mildew and everything out. You know, it's it's yeah, it's paradise. But is it easier to just hang them out like that and have them dry because they would dry pretty fast in that atmosphere? Wouldn't well, it? they they do and they don't. Uh, it, as long as we get some sun, fine. Otherwise, they stay damp. You yeah. can't have heavy duty towels in your shower because they'll still be wet the next day. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> uh. Oh, I see that. Uh, I just saw why uh, <laughs> why uh, Rob signed in, and now he's he's he's, 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 he's he, I can add him to the group. Uh, hello, Rob. Hey, Rob. Hi, can you hear me? Yeah, you just I I just got a notification that you sent some audio to me. I just <laughs> finished the Gabnet dog promo for the Citizen Panel. That's why I'm okay. a little tonight. Yeah. But you see how easy that was to do, I guess, huh? Yeah, it's all done. Yeah, it was fun. I haven't it, it, uh, done it in a while. And you got the other one too that I sent you, right? I did. I haven't had a chance to produce that one. I uh, I, I did the the one where Fluffy gets it. Yeah, well, see, I just take I just take your voice and I strip it in where my old thing was. I've got no, all. I actually produced it. It's produced. It's all ready to be put in. Oh, it's finished. Put the right phone yeah, number in. Wait a minute. Wait. Let, let me see here. Let's see how it sounds here. Hold on a second. Let me. Let me just see here. Uh, what, what, where, where, where? Oh, I can't find my stuff. And it's, uh, there we go. And uh, here's panel dog. If I went, uh, uh, let's see here. Copy that and put this down here. Oh, well, hold on a second. I'll do Where's this. Where's Phil tonight? Or Rob, Phil, do you have Phil is here. He's here. <laughs> Don't you see him? Here he I, is. Yeah. Oh, God. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so here, here's the spot. I, I wonder if we should play my spot first, and then they can <laughs> hear how it differs. See? Here, 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 here's how, how mine sounded in the very beginning. Here he is. <laughs> okay, so Gabnet here's needs spot. you. Yes, GapNet needs you to call our live programs and be a part of the citizen panel. This is the most innovative talk format yet, which is not just one, but a group of callers interacting with the hosts. Now, here's how to do it. It's simple. First, you download Skype. Wait a minute, where's that other one coming from? Then you install it and answer four simple no, questions. No. First name, last name, email address, and the ID. Wait a minute, it's, it, it, the other sound's coming from somewhere else, yeah. and I can't figure out where it's coming from. Must be the pot that you're using. Yeah, yeah but where, wait a minute, where's that Skype. other one coming from? You see, it's not coming from my... It's uh, feeding back, we're getting like a... Oh, I know where that's coming from. Okay, hold on. There it's we go. not me. Oh, anyway, wait, it's anyway, me. <laughs> you, you, heard, you heard how that sounded, okay? Now hear how a real professional does the same thing. Gabnet needs you. Yes, Gabnet needs you to call our live programs and be a part of the citizen panels. It's the most innovative talk format yet because it's not just one caller. It's a group of callers interacting with the hosts at the same time. Here's how you do it. It's simple. First, 
download Skype at Skype.com. To install it, answer four simple questions, first name, last name, email address, and your choice of ID. Then launch Skype, go to Add Contacts, type in GapNet Live, and ask to be made a contact. Then you're ready to be on the Citizen Panel. If you're too lazy, well, you can always call on the phone at 347-352-0079. That's 347-352-0079. For all the information and a call button for Skype, log on to GabNet.net. At the bottom of the page, you'll find a video on how to call us and how to use GabNet. It couldn't be easier. It couldn't be more fun and exciting. We're new. We're different, but we need you to call. So for crying out loud, call or we'll kill this dog. Don't worry, Fluffy. They won't let you die. I'm not kidding. Call or Fluffy gets it. Oopsie. <laughs> That's better than Primo. <laughs> How did you get that? Did you do that sound effect yourself? No, I found it on the audio block site. I, I, just, I, I looked for dog squealing and I couldn't find anything good. So I just went for choking, and I found that's a <laughs> actually. That's very <laughs> good. Now, it, tell me, folks, isn't that better than mine? Yes. yes Let's give it. You, you, oh. you sound like you have a gun to your head, Alex. But uh, Rob is so relaxed. I mean, that's my. <laughs> I just, I I've, I've just, for some reason, I've never been able to crack the voiceover business. You know. Either have I. <laughs> <laughs> and you're good at. It. Really? Oh my. It's a who you know, and you know it's tough. I mean, I've done a lot of local stuff. Yeah, working for cable television and working local stuff and regional stuff, but nothing of any magnitude. Well, so. see, he, has, he hasn't been able to do. The, so I'm going to send you scripts all the time. Now. Yeah, send me you scripts. Know. I'll cut them. I don't care. That took me. I got up here at ten thirty-five. And it took me 10 minutes. It was one take to get through it and then just finding. And it took me that much time to find the sound effects and the music. Yeah, but, so. you know, if I just send you, even if I just send you the scripts, I'll put the music and everything together. I don't mind doing that. It's like I said, the whole process took me from 1030, wow. 1035, maybe. Well, the, 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 I, other uh, one, the other one just send me the voice because I have all the tracks yeah, here. That I'll yeah. cut the I'll cut the voices and yeah. get that to you. Yeah. Uh, but anyway, so let's hear a big round of applause for Rob. Yeah. What a wonderful job. Yeah. You know, um, so Rob, uh, how's the Brexit uh, treating you? Well, uh, who knows? I mean, uh, you're just watching yeah. the stock market collapse, worrying about my company as an international company and how that's going to affect it. You know, yeah. things like that. Yeah, uh, it'll work out fine. Yeah, how about well? You think so? Really? I think so. Do you I, think I, it's I, like? Think... You think it's in some way? It, was it smart for for the Brits to pull out of the EU? Was it really in their best interest? I think it was in the sense of their nationalism. Okay, but other than that, uh, I think I'm not into this world economy as it's put forth with the EU and NAFTA and all that. Uh, and I think the British uh, pretty well said that. And I think the United States is saying that. There's just there's just too much big big money involved. I think it's about Muslims. Uh, <laughs> okay. Well, wait a minute. Hold on a second, Jace, Jason. 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 Uh, first of all, first of all, Lance, can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you. Can you hear me? Yeah, just get closer to your microphone. You're not loud enough. Okay. I've, I can't. Um, I can't get my camera. To well, forget about your camera. We need the audio. That, okay. That's the most important it's a radio thing. show first. Yes, and if you All can right. somehow go in there and turn up your volume on your microphone, that would be good, too. I know Rob Alfano's uh, very concerned about this EU thing and the world economy. I, I yeah, mentioned a little bit earlier that I'm trying to fix this for you. Uh, there's a $35 referral fee <laughs> on the dog insurance, and, I, and I'm trying to figure out some way... Uh, because I signed up for it, and I, and I didn't put in Rob yeah. Alfano as the... Yeah. Uh, well, just say the if they don't give the money, Fluffy gets it. Anyway, yes. uh, <laughs> J J Jason, Jason had his hand up here, and I don't want him to be gangly. I just checked my 401k today, and I checked it a month ago. Uh -huh. And my company's stock went from a buy to a hold, and then everything with the EU is going on. Man, my friggin' 401k went up 10% in one month. I can't freaking believe it. Wow. Well, well, that means your age. 
it's all reactionary. That's okay. all. Well, we'll no, we'll you, see. We'll see what happens. You know, I mean, I don't think it's going to have a, the kind of dire consequences in the United States that they would like to think that it. You know, seven billion dollars lost today. Yeah. yeah. How many? How, I made ten. Good time to buy. Wait a minute, you lost seven billion dollars, Phil? No, no. I was reading that a uh, uh, hundred and twenty-seven billion. billion. Wait a minute. What? Where's that? Where's that? Where's that flash uh, slap back coming from? Go ahead. Try it now. No. Some. This is weird. Anyway. Lance. Yeah. Lance. Lance. Can you hear me? Yeah. Yeah. Lance. He has a but, slap back. Yeah. You, you you have something on so that we your our voice. Oh, you. Okay. Now it's all right. Are you there, Lance? Yeah. Okay. All right. We can hear you. We can't see you, but that's okay. Anyway. Okay. Let me say let the richest, some of the richest people in the world lost $127 billion in value today because of what was going on. Oh, I feel so sorry oh, for that. Shit here. And, I, and I hope half of them were the Kardashians. Was Alex Bennett. <laughs> I'm sorry, did you say Donald Trump? Nah, nah. Yeah. Uh, okay. He, he, yeah, because he, he's got some real estate in Scotland he's trying to sell. Yeah. Oh, no, wait, that's a golf course. I'm sorry. Yeah, yeah. well, that whole golf course thing today was just, it was a, it was abysmally a shame. Why? It was horrible. What? Why? Why? Because, Donald, because I'm, I, you're running for president. Place. You're not selling your properties to people, you know? Or is he? If I want to stage a goddamn <laughs> golf course, I'll go to Trivago. <laughs> Didn't you, know? didn't you see? Didn't you see the stakes next to the hole in one in the photo op? Yeah, Come on! Uh, hold your head up a little higher, Robert, because all we can see is your glasses and your nose. You look like Kilroy was here, you know. Um, and and the, oh, look, James Lee has his uh, dog. What kind is that again? Yes, Patches. She's our Japanese chin. She's a dad. Right. Hello, Mr. Tony. How you doing? That is <laughs> you cute. Yeah, oh, Patches. My. Say Patchy. Patches. I don't know, but wait a minute. It, it's a Japanese chin. Yes, but isn't correct. isn't chin a yeah. Chinese? Isn't chin a Chinese name? No, uh, well, it, 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 they're not really good for Hawaii because they're a cold weather dog. So this chin has to. I have to hydrate. Give her a lot of water. Oh, I see. Okay. She gets really, you know, dehydrated yeah. out here. No, you maybe you should shave your chin. <laughs> <laughs> so if you want to feel better about this? It was the world's. 400 richest people that lost 127. Let's million. hear it for that. <laughs> Gee, and so I, you didn't lose a penny, did you, Phil? <laughs> I don't have any pennies. I, I, I think I think it's amazing. Close for a camera suitcase. I mean, come on. What? Your camera encasement thing. I'll I'll never forget that your camera. That four thousand oh, a, a Sobal a Subal yes. uh, enclosure. Yeah. Uh, yeah, and I and I'm I'm gonna go down tomorrow and get a sixteen hundred dollar uh mm -hmm. thing that fits over it to uh that goes over the lens. God uh, bless you. Yeah. <laughs> I'll try to get you your thirty five bucks. Hey, that'd be great, man. Every little penny helps. <laughs> well, I hear the Kardashians lost money today. Is what oh. I heard. Yeah, we, but it, but they can always hook for a living. So you know, I mean, it's. Uh, I thought they did. Oh, one of them just had a kid. <laughs> what? One of them just had a kid. Man, they uh, could sell oh, them. Oh, they they keep pu pu pouring out puppies all the time. You know. Mm. You know what I watched recently on. Well, I can't tell you because I I downloaded it. Um, was yeah, go I ahead and tell me. Yeah, it looks... It's on regular TV, so I just didn't see it, and I saw that it was on the site, so I, it wasn't on any special channel. But I down CTV, I think it was on because I see the little logo in the corner. I don't yeah, know what that they, is. What they are is that's Canadian TV, and it could be any American network that they carry the shows of. It was an L it was a, a an OJ Simpson. It was called OJ Simpson. What was my, it, my wife was enthralled. It was, it was it. a it was, documentary. It was a documentary. Well, no, I saw entire the whole life. thing. I saw the whole thing. It's wonderful. O.J. Simpson, an American. Uh, blah, 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 blah. Not the one where somebody played O.J. No, These no, are... no, no, no. This is the documentary, the five-part documentary. Right. It was awesome. It, and one of the best documentaries I've ever seen. And do you know they have released it all 
let's see here. There are f five episodes, all an hour and a half each. They've released yep. all of it to a mo to movie theaters, and the reason they've done that is they want to go for an Oscar on this deal, and I think they'll win it. I mean, it's it was uh, incredible. I, you know. I really enjoyed it. My wife, who wasn't here for it, never heard of O.J. How many people do you meet that don't know about the O.J. Simpson trial? Right. Right. So here I am sitting in the living room watching this with her and explaining to her how it, like, the slow car chase and how it captivated America and where I was when I was sitting watching this thing. And because I was working at Court TV at the time, all of the people that I worked with, Jack Ford, who eventually, right after the... The, the thing happened. Jack Ford went over to NBC. They brought him over. Mm -hmm. And he was, because he was working at NBC, he was saying that, that nobody there at NBC believes it. Everybody loves O.J. He's a man's man. And it was just... It's called O.J. Simpson Made in America. Made in America. Yeah. Awesome. If you get a chance to it see is it. It is maybe... It was done by ESPN. It is maybe the best documentary I've seen. And it's funny because we, you know, we, we remember all that stuff. We lived it. And then to have it encapsulated and represented before us gave us a whole new feeling about it because we saw it going by in slow motion. Mm -hmm. And when you see it in a documentary, it's going by faster. It's amazing and, how and much so of it. And so you begin to I, see a whole tapestry. So looking at it all these years later, was he guilty or, or oh, not? He's dead guilty. But you know what? And I said this when it was going on. Because I sat through this trial. I sat through all the, you know, the, the sequestered jury parts where they just sit there and they talk. The prosecution screwed this case royally. They tampered the evidence. Mm -hmm. they, they put blankets over Nicole. They, they, they introduced foreign, you know, fibers and such into the crime scene. They just completely butchered this case and deserve to lose it. But O.J.'s guilty. Yeah. By the way, we've been joined by Patrick, and we now have a full house, folks. If you're watching us on TV, here's what a full house looks like. Hello, <laughs> Patrick. Are you out there? Yeah, I'm here. Okay. I can't do a picture. Why is that? Because there, there's no option for me. You know what? Uh, that um, happens. Yeah, sometimes. That's, that's my deal, too. That yeah. happens. That happens sometimes when we get over eight people. This is, right. this is th uh, over seven people. This is something that Skype doesn't tell anybody. That they fuck you over, even, you know, on this group calling. But if you uh, added one more person, nobody would have a picture. Oh, nobody would have a picture. You're only allowed, uh, allow, uh, the tenth is me. The tenth is me. And everybody would just be audio only, okay? But what they don't tell you, but the, I should keep getting pictures, but I don't because the last two people that have joined our panel, both of them, can't get a camera now if it's new if somebody i'm going to drop out i've got some things to do gentlemen so okay hello, uh, we'll check with you next okay, week so and what will okay. happen probably is either lance or care, patrick will see bye something bye. on their on their computer yeah it's not a, a bug, problem it's a before. feature it, it it it's uh it's uh yeah it's, it's not a, a bug it's a feature it, it, oh it's <laughs> not a bug it's a feature it, is this is what you're learning over at that computer come on. here comes patrick yeah. see all of a sudden yeah. we've got patrick Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm still not in. Yes, yeah, so we ha we yeah we well don't worry about it. Uh, okay. But we you know we had to uh, as you know we had to give up paradise for Patrick. So. <laughs> <laughs> uh, how you doing, Patrick? I'm just dandy. Now we're discussing whether O.J. was guilty or not, and uh, yeah, I watch this documentary, and I've often said that uh, I just I say that O.J. was not guilty because that's what they found in a court of law. And if I believe in American jurisprudence, uh, I cannot automatically say, well, I think he did it anyway. Blah, 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 blah. You know, what, Patrick? Who is O.J.? Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> I just heard Rob right before I came on, and I, I thought that was pretty funny with that that true. Uh, if you weren't from here, chances are you never heard of it. So. It's unbelievable. You know, I'm, I'm. How often do you meet someone who doesn't know of that? And I'm sitting there and I'm watching. I didn't even bother to include her. She just came over and sat down. What is this? And I said, Oh, you don't. It's, you don't know anything about O.J. Simpson. Who's that? Well, look at Rob's the also look, an look, age group. You know, we at, watched him play football. We watched mm -hmm. the Hurts commercials. Uh, you know, we watched him run through airports. No, you, you, uh, you, know, you watched him on the Hertz commercials. You watched him play football. I didn't. But you know where I did see him? 
I was he, I was at the Olympics. <laughs> no, I was at the Olympics in Barcelona, and I was just shooting with my camera. And all of a sudden, here comes O.J. Simpson, and I have some video of him actually yeah. hanging out and talk, chatting, where, uh, chatting where, up where, the chicks where? and all of that. This was before, you know, slice and dice. Where in Did the Bruno Mars then? Huh? Did he have his knife with him then? No, no. <laughs> No, but he's wearing these really nice black leather gloves. Yeah. <laughs> and those, and those a pair of Bruno, Bruno Molly shoes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, right. Maglia's, yeah. No, Bruno Maglia? No, Bruno Molly, I think. It's Bruno Molly. Yeah. 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 But anyway, uh, uh, I, you know, so I, and I always, you know, if a guy was found not guilty, I mean, you have to understand that the prosecution did a terrible job. They you did. Know? They botched the case. Mm -hmm. They didn't push to have it in a, in a different neighborhood. But what was funny was O.J. Simpson spent his life not being black. And it was, it was brought up in that, in that special. Oh, yeah. He didn't no, want to be seen fact, as either. He wanted to be seen as O.J. He was, but in he fact, came. courted by black groups to kind of come out and say stuff, and he wouldn't do it. You know, he said, I'm not black. I'm O.J. Right. He was yeah. above everything. Well, no, but you know something? He wasn't wrong exactly. Like he was just na him. he was just naive. So I have a theory yeah. about OJ. And this oh. came to me, it didn't come to me back in the 90s because we didn't hear about it and didn't talk about it. But what about all of these football players that are suffering from these brain diseases? Well, that, that, I said that the other night. Yeah. yeah, there you go. That's what I said. I said, this guy, just, you know, the stupid things he did after a while, he just got you know angry mm -hmm. anger is a big part of it these guys commit suicide they kill right. their wives right you know i wouldn't be surprised if oj has some sort of uh brain disease i mean how many how many of these uh these people did we lose somebody lance lance, lance. lance we lost lance again in the public view wasn't he always kind of mr cool uh, yeah. He was man's yeah. man loved by everybody. But here's the, here's the, here's the, here's the thing. If, if, you, if you look at football players in general, how many of them beat their wives? How many of them are, are known for more than, prone more to than you know? Yeah. Right. And, and, you know, my, and, Michael Irvin was, yeah. was doing coke for years at the Dallas and, Cowboys. And, and I'll tell you, if, if, if OJ had done what he was accused of doing today, and I were a lawyer, my defense would be brain damage. Yes. But then they know that now. It wasn't discovered back in the 90s. It's and, 20 years ago. And yet nobody says, hey, O.J. probably had brain damage. Let's feel right. a little sorry for the guy. You right. know? I wouldn't be surprised. And well, the only way to test on this comes out open. The 50s when he or... dies. They'll, what what, what they'll... were you going to say, Jason? I said the only way to test him is to cut his head open. Yep. Yes, yeah. Yeah. Let's do yeah. it. I mean, Frank Gifford <laughs> had brain damage. Yes. And he should have beat the shit out uh, of him. No, Cass. he had such bad brain damage. <laughs> He had I'm, such brain it's damage. As such as she was. I mean, please. Well, wait a minute. Frank Gifford what? had such great brain damage that he married that cunt. <laughs> True. He did all right. He was, what, 80 something? She's. Uh, oh, he's dead. She, yeah, and she's 70 something. So, Matt, you know, but back then she was like 30 years younger than him. You know something? Today, because of the uh, whole thing with Brexit, uh, they were replaying this interview they did today over and over again on MSNBC with uh, Alan Greenspan. And I keep thinking about, God, Andrea Mitchell is married to this guy. <laughs> you know. She, he didn't do very well then. Uh, huh? He didn't do no, very well. When he, I've no, when he married her, she was she still young. And, well. She was still young and-, and He's got PTSD, yeah. <laughs> young and viable. But anyway, the point is about OJ is that I just feel, and I'm sure you felt this after watching the documentary, Rob, that what happened in Las Vegas was a miscarriage of justice. Okay? Well, yeah, I mean, at that point, they wanted him. Because the other guys, I think the only one other guy got time in jail, and it was like two years, yeah. right? And nobody would get 30 years for but what they he, did. It was payback. He system, Alex, and he flaunted it, yeah. okay? Yeah. That's why he got. No, you it. know what he was? He was the black guy who had enough money to get away with it, you know. And that's why, he, because they put this this documentary spends a lot of time setting up the trial by dealing with the racial climate in Los Angeles at the time, 
and right. all the all the cops beating up people, uh, black people, and black people getting killed by the cops, and and one thing after another. Of course, then we had the uh, you know why can't we all get along guy, uh, Rodney King, Rodney King, I, I mean, and they and they they then in the middle of all of this comes the O.J. trial. And it wasn't a matter of whether the black community felt O.J. was guilty or innocent. It was the fact that they felt O.J. was going to be payback yes. for all the other times that black people had been, you know, thrown in jail and whatever for things they didn't do because the police department was so uh, corrupt. Yeah, you guys Alex, Alex, he wasn't black. He was O.J., remember? Yeah. Right. How many jurors? Well, he right. became black. Really. You know something somebody said, I can't remember if it was in this documentary or somewhere else, that O.J. was always white until the day he got arrested. Mm -hmm. That's you know? exactly right. And then he became black because, uh, hey, they got the black guy. How yeah. many of the jurors were black? Uh, about <laughs> half. No more, like nine. Mm. Well, whose like, fault I, is that? Again, it was another bad job by the prosecution because they didn't try to move it to, like, Simi Valley or another one of the Santa Clara where, where there's a different makeup of people. They yeah. wanted to keep it downtown for some reason. Yeah. But Jason? But now did O.J. become black or did society make him black after oh. he was arrested? Johnny Cochran, yeah. Yes. Johnny Cochran made him black. Yeah. Yeah, that's a good, I think that's a good assessment of it. Um, uh, it's funny, Johnny Cochran. Well, I think it might have even he been... He wasn't black when he was being chased for, you know, five hours and well, at five miles per hour in a Bronco. You know, what's kind, okay. what's kind of interesting is that if you think about it, um, uh, I, I would imagine maybe O.J. didn't like that defense particularly, you know, because he never, ever thought of himself that way. And I agree with him. Yes, you should want to have people like you for who you are and not for what you are, a.k.a. I think black. At that point, he was out of jail, didn't it? What, well, it I, kept I him don't, out of jail, didn't it? I don't think that alone is what got him out of jail. I think what got him out of jail was the climate surrounding it. Okay. And it's just the total, I mean, I, like I said, I watched every minute of that trial. It's part of my job. Every step along the way, they blew it. They blew it with, with they trying on the glove. Yeah. You know, you don't ask a question in a courtroom you don't know the answer to. And they tried to tell Darden, it was in this, this special, they tried to tell Chris Darden not to do it, but he, he felt it S and he did it. Thing, the same thing was in the drama, by the way, that they kept, kept trying to tell Darden, no, don't do it. One right. of the reasons it didn't fit, probably, and they mentioned this in the documentary, is that by this time in his life, O.J. had a bad case of arthritis. Right. And if he didn't and take his arthritis medicine, no glove he owned would fit. Yes, Patrick. They also had a glove leather, on. leather shrinks when it gets wet. Right. And since they were covered in blood, I'm sure if they would have been able to put it back in water to kind of reconstitute it like you do with dried fruit, um, you could have gotten it on his hand, maybe not with the arthritis, but, I mean, that thing was so shriveled from being wet and dried. I mean, you take any leather. Well, dry, I, I know that feeling. <laughs> should have just I was been thinking the same thing. thing. And the latex glove. Yeah, yeah, all they should have done was test for DNA, which they uh, could do at that time. They did. Not, not worry. Well, did they find any of his DNA on the glove? Yeah, all, they found his DNA. They found all three of the victims, or the two victims, and his DNA in his house, on his driveway, on his in his Bronco. Yeah, but you see what they were oh, claiming. What, what they were claiming is because they were driving around all night with the blood that right. they probably used that blood to taint the scenes. Absolutely. You know. that the, the, the blood was missing. There was a, a there was a, yeah. a period of time where they couldn't account for the evidence. And then that was it not Van Natter, the other guy, um, the one, the bald guy with the mustache. He took the blood back to the back to OJ's house to give it to the the, the criminologists. Yeah. So the, the, the you got this blood going back. All they to, had to do was create doubt. It was okay. a mess. That's all you all need is reasonable do. doubt in a murder trial. And then, Oops, you know, spilled the blood. I'll tell you what I've always said. They, everybody always said after the trial, how could they come to a decision in three and a half hours? 
Mm. And I said, because they didn't come to a decision in three and a half hours, they had been sequestered for eight months or nine months, and every night they went back to their hotel rooms where they weren't allowed to have a TV set or newspapers or and visitors. just laid there, or visitors, and just laid there and probably mulled the trial over. So that by the time they got into that, that uh, jury room, they knew what the answer was. They had two things they asked for. I don't remember what they were, but there were two things they asked for clarification and read back. That's it. And you heard the juror on the, the documentary saying, three and a half hours? I had nine months, just yeah, what you exactly. said, in my room every night with no newspaper, no television to mull this trial over. Yeah. So, I mean, they were, and they wanted to get home. Let's face it. I mean. Uh, and they were faced with a weekend, another weekend. It was a Friday. Oh, you're right forgot about that but it it you know the documentary itself i'll tell you what's really amazing about the documentary the last episode is one of the most depressing things you'll ever see i mean it just shows like okay so he's not guilty and he goes back to what he thinks is going to be this normal life and he's ostracized by everybody he comes up against he finally has to go into the black community to get friends yeah he went to the church and yeah <laughs> And then he moved. What else? He had to go down to Trump's clubs to play golf. Well, no, but he went down to Florida. You know why he went down to Florida? Golf? No. So he wouldn't lose no. his house. So he wouldn't lose his house. So because what happened was uh, yeah. they had that civil trial in which uh, they, they got the rights to $13, uh, $33 million judgment. And so he moved to Florida where he could buy a house and they couldn't take it away from him. Right, and there are a lot of laws in Florida that protected his money, and that's why he moved Just down there, not so he could be at Trump's, uh, you know, yeah. golf course. They couldn't touch his pension or anything like that. Yeah, the Goldmans really pissed off. Yeah, well, the Goldmans are a piece of work too. I think uh, you know. yeah. they sell trophies in Las Vegas that he went and tried to get back because the Goldmans took certain things. Well, uh, I mean, uh, 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 his business, his his agent stole a whole bunch of stuff from him yeah, yeah in the under the guise of we're hiding it so they can't take it because when they were everybody was coming into rocking him to yeah. to uh you know well, where, sell everything yeah. they hid a bunch of his his stuff where's the heisman it, these days you know it's a good I, I can understand only they had an arrogance about him though if i was going if i'm that was that was my brother and og did that to him Alex, I'd be fucking pissed. I'd haunt that guy Absolutely. for the rest of his life. Absolutely. I mean, you got to be kidding me to say, to say something like that. Oh, Jesus, no, he's Goldman. Uh, I got to tell you, Goldman, Dad Goldman. I mean, Goldman. you wouldn't be in fear of Dad Goldman. Took somebody you Dad know, Goldman is. Much cut his head hey, off. hey, Tony, Dad Goldman is a piece of shit. I interviewed him. Yeah, but Wait, I understand hold on a second. That, hold look on at his point of view. He lost the son. Uh, do you want to listen to what I have to say? I don't know how you defend OJ. But yeah, yeah. Yeah. I'm not defending OJ. What I'm saying is this was a guy who was pushing for stuff which was would literally strip your rights away from you and strip my rights away from me. Where are you, Patrick? What happened to Patrick? Lost him. Yeah, but I'm talking about his anger towards OJ, really. I mean, the only reason why he was uh, in the public eye is because he lost a family member. Did, he, did, he he wave, did, did Patrick wave goodbye like or what was that? Huh? Yeah, it wasn't like Did he, he asked the cameras to be in front of him, I don't think. Wait a minute. I'm trying to figure something out here, Tony. Uh, Did he wave goodbye, or what was that? I didn't see him wave goodbye. I just, I think he uh, lost his connection. Oh, really? Uh, let me just write him here and see. Uh, chair. Huh? Anyway, uh, uh, so... Uh, what I'm saying is, is that I, I interviewed Goldman when he was trying to push for something, which was so it would it would literally rob you of your rights and my rights, okay, literally, and and, you, I, and I said my problem with you is he says you have a problem with me, and I said yes I do, and I presented what I had a pro he, he hung up on me. Piece of oh, shit. Well, I, Piece I really of don't shit. know the nature of what you know what happened there. I'm just taking my hints. My perspective that he's only in the media is because a family member got murdered, really. I mean, that's got to change your whole way of life. OJ just was walking around, sticking his chin out. He was an arrogant fuck, really. And you know what What happened to the arrogant people? You got to knock them on their ass. I hate to say it, but OJ had it coming to him. 
He beat the rap because he had because he was a millionaire. Yeah, but that doesn't mean he was an elitist. No, but, he was above everybody. No, but that doesn't mean that you have the uh, ability or the right. He was smug though, OJ. You don't think he was arrogant? Alex, he had a major. Come on, that was a prick. He didn't. And he was, he was, yeah, 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 I, I, no you don't throw, you don't throw somebody up, look. OJ. You don't throw somebody in prison because they're a prick. No, I didn't say that. But he walked around and beat the rap. Yeah, if yeah. I think this is how yeah, I'm no, 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 no. You don't go back retroactively and try and get even with him because he went into a court of law and won. Yeah, on a technicality. No, he, not on a technicality. He, there was no technicality. He you pull him over, you beat the crap out of him, and you leave him on the side of the road. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know. Well, he was found guilty in the other court of law. Yeah, you just won because the state of California, or the city of Los Angeles, I should say, the D the DA's office really just booted that case. They did. That's it. That's the bottom. That's it. He because wanted a technicality because they're in Ethnus. Uh, how many years ago did this happen? 1994. I think the, 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 the murder happened in 94 and the trial happened in 94 and 95. But he didn't get away with any. Like he didn't get away with anything. Like uh, he, he he didn't get away with anything, um, uh, Tony. He he simply won a case because he had the better uh, attorneys. He had the better case. Rich win. No, that's what it comes down to. If you have a lot of money, you can be. Well, a, well how many how many how many blacks don't win because they're innocent, but, but they that's don't not have, my question. But they don't that's have the money. Question. Well, no, that my is my question. Is no. he probably is committed a murder for two people? I don't care about anybody else. He's a fucking prick. Well, no, but you you, you think you say he did it. You, you say he did it, but a jury said he didn't. Now who's who? So what? And they said because they lost the case. No, well, you, no you, you're you're he being you're, you're you're being un-American. In this oh, country, oh, oh, it's how oh, much oh, justice, Tony. In this yeah. country, it's how much justice can you afford? That's you, exactly. That's, you can't lawyer yeah, up when you got Johnny Cochran, F. Lee Bailey, and Kardashian against the two. Stooges on the other side, you're gonna win. You had and you, uh, you and had you Barry Schenk. Wait a minute, hold on, hold on a second, Tony. Tony, listen. Some people are trying to talk here. Wrong. You, you got Johnny Cochran, who's been dead ten years, advertising in New York his law firm. <laughs> that goes chase the he, you know what's funny? Karma's a bitch because he died after the case. Who? Karma's a bitch because Cochran died. Who's a bitch? When you defend the murderer, that's what happened. Karma's a Cell bitch. phones are a bitch. Well, karma's a bitch. <laughs> oh, this is because, how big because, his be, got. Be, wait a minute. Because, because a lawyer is hired to defend a, somebody, and he takes the case because everybody is uh, uh, allowed to have a defense. Yeah, they are. Would job, you, man. He did his job, and, and they're supposed to He did to his be... job. You're just pissed because he did his job. Some, no, he, this listen, is, listen, this I, 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 hold on a second. I have a friend. I have, I have a friend. That's not justice. That's, well, that's, now it is. that's like kangaroo justice. Well, he, you know, he, <laughs> what he, he went to jail, though. To America. Because he was too stupid to stay out of the cop's hands. He oh, could back, Patrick. and live a nice life. No, I'm OJ. I got to put myself in every little thing. You yeah, know. That, that, that's OJ, Michael Irvin, all, all these yeah. fuck football players. Not he's smart. He sees above the really. But, Tony, don't, don't, don't give up on the thought that OJ has got some sort of brain damage from his years of playing oh, football. But you know what? I think that I agree there, but we're not going to know unless they open him up. But That's I'm just, you see how old he is. I would He's be willing to say, I would be willing to say that every football player playing has some amount, of, sometimes small, sometimes great amount of, of, of brain damage from that sport, which is a heavy contact sport in which they're crashing into each other. And he certainly did his share of crashing into people. Now, I'm not saying we give him that excuse right now because we don't know for sure. But all I'm saying is that for a long time, Tony, you watch these guys play these games and you watch them on the field. And uh, what was the bottom line on the whole thing? Uh, uh, maybe he got brain damage. So maybe it's your uh, ad adulation of the sport may have caused those people to die. First of all, there's somebody calling from a 214 number. Who is this? Hey, listen, I want to jump in right here because uh, <laughs> uh, as the resident black guy. Okay, well, but you have your own show, so remember, don't hijack this one. Go ahead. Oh, no, I just got no, I just, no, I, conversation back. No, I, I just wanted to get in this conversation because, one, you're overlooking perhaps the greatest 
proof that Simpson might have been innocent. And I got to preface this by saying I started out believing he was guilty until one thing came up in the trial. And that was the fact that he flunked the brother test. If this man was so obsessed with this woman that he had been divorced from for some time, and he comes by his house and sees his friend Marcus Allen getting a blowjob from her with his kids upstairs, and he doesn't bust in and kill them then? What's wrong with that picture sometime later? Think about that for a minute, Now, that, now that's a very interesting thing for you to say, because I think it is in the documentary, isn't it, Rob, that she had something going on with Marcus yes. Allen, that in fact O.J. did walk in on them, Right, and at that point he didn't decide to kill anybody, and yet all maybe of a sudden, sec- uh, maybe the second time he did, the, or the third. Well, yeah, but what I'm saying is, what happened in this particular case? This was very benign. He had been at a recital uh, with uh, her uh, for one of their children at school, and then she went to Me- Mezzaluna to have dinner, and he went off somewhere else. There yeah. was nothing. You're right. Uh, Jack, went to McDonald's. That, that there, there's no real motivation on why at that precise moment he decided to do this. It, well, he went there. He went also, there. Uh, he, he also I had a buddy with one of the TV stations in L.A. at that time yeah. who talked to some guys in the Vice Squad. And as he pointed out to me, Faye Resnick... And Nicole Brown Simpson looked an awful lot alike. There was a rumor circulating in the Vice and Narcotics Squad that at some point, O.J. Simpson paid off a $50,000 debt for, for Nicole Brown Simpson and Faye Resnick to a drug dealer for cocaine. And allegedly, according to some of the Vice cops, they heard that he told them, told the two women, I'm not ever doing this again. Think about that for a minute. Could it have been somebody that they owed money to who was a drug dealer at that time? I don't know. Okay, my, but that's my, one my, of the my, theories my, being my, spread by some people my, back then. My only question to you on all this, and, and you bring up some very good points. Uh, uh, is if all this information did exist, why didn't they bring it up in the trial? You know, with well, with, well, the, now, well, first of all, one, they couldn't bring up the question of the vice squad thing because that would have been hearsay, and hearsay is not admissible. Well, but they did bring up uh, the fact that uh, Simpson caught his wife. In the Lactato with his best friend, with his buddy's cock in her mouth, and he didn't kill him then. And speaking as a, you know, I've been black a long damn time. <laughs> and my, my youngest uncle yeah. caught his wife in a somewhat similar situation in the 1950s, and he didn't kill the guy. He just burned up his house and his car for it. <laughs> you join in. Huh? I hope you had insurance. Now, hey, I'm just, you know, I'm not saying, I'm just saying I started out believing that O.J. Simpson was guilty. And when I heard about that, which was in the trial, mm-hmm. I said, hey, this guy just flunked the, you know, the mad, crazy black guy thing. Yeah. Because he's obsessed with this woman, allegedly. But didn't OJ beat his wife and they had it on record? Yes. They have the 911 call. Yeah. And he, she had bruises. They had pictures of him with bruises on her face more than yes. once. Yeah. On record. So he's a wife beater. We well, know that. Well, oh, no look, question. Look. Yeah, yeah. So he, he, but the know, thing is, he was, he, so was, he was involved with somebody else oh, so at the time. Somebody, you, beat, you beat the woman up. Oh, okay. I understand he was involved with somebody else at the time of this homicide. And she was hot. <laughs> and she was hot. Yeah. And she looked an awful lot like Nicole Brown Simpson. 
Yeah. Right. Well, you know, I mean, um, um, there are a whole, you know, I tend to uh, go along with you, Jack. Uh, in, over the years, I've said, you know, there is still some doubt in my mind as to whether O.J. was guilty. However, wow. in this documentary, a lot of people who are very close to him say, at this point, I have no doubt that he did it. Rob Shapiro. Rob Shapiro. Uh, yeah. Another one was uh, his agent, who yeah. said he actually oh. said to O.J., uh, he says, what do you think to the agent? And the agent said, well, quite frankly, O.J., I think you did it. <laughs> and O.J. had been smoking pot that night, and he said, well, you know what her, what her mistake was, was opening the door. And she opened the door with a knife. He didn't go there with a knife. She had the knife. That's what she I thought. Girlfriend kept telling me, oh, no, he had the knife. He, no. he said if she hadn't opened up the door with that knife, right. she'd be alive today. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Yes, well, there's wait, 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 well, wait, you know, hold, hold look, on a guys, second. It, wait, it's Jack, 20 Jack, years. Jack, it's 20 Jack, years since the fact. Jack. Jack. Yeah. I have somebody here with a hand raised. Uh, hey, so Jason. did you guys hear about this new movie coming out called Forrest Gump? <laughs> <laughs> hey, I'll okay. see you after the top of the so, hour. No, wait a Finish what you were saying, Jack. It's just that Jason had his hand up and you don't have it, a camera, so I right. can't, you know, you can't see it. Go ahead. It's 20, it's 20 years after the fact. The man is serving a 33-year sentence for what was at best a, uh, a robbery. Yeah. Simpson's mistake was when he got uh, acquitted, he didn't say, thank you very much, everybody. I'll send you a beautiful picture postcard from Costa Rica. Well, also the, pro the problem the problem that he had in that whole uh, thing in Las Vegas was th th they gave him a, a just a, a completely out of line with anything else sentence. OK, he, uh, uh, all things being fair, uh, the high end would be five years, but they kept throwing one thing on another, on another, on another. And they if were you, just, want, you know, well, they admitted Alex, it was if retribution, you want, too. Yeah. If, yeah. If you want to see a comparable situation without the murder. Yeah. Read the history of Jack Johnson, the yeah, first we, yeah, black we know heavyweight about, we, champion. We know about Jack Johnson, yeah. yeah. And, and, and the kind of, uh, of sentence that he got for reentering the country with a woman that he had married. Under the man act. Well, yeah, this is this is years and years and years ago, and we know that we expect that things would be untoward in those days. But, you know, Tony was giving a big deal about O.J. Yeah, he got what he deserved. No, you don't retroactively go back to another case that he won and then I say. I think he's on worst end. I really have no remorse for him that he got thrown in jail. And he they were, no, I really don't care. no, I'll tell you what I'll tell you what happened, and Rob, you, you saw it in the documentary. What happened was some of the guys he went in with took more than they should have taken. They were right. just there to get OJ's come. stuff and they took more than OJ's stuff. The Pete Rose baseballs and all the stuff they took. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So and and that of course they heaped that on them. The guy who, who what's rattling? Who's rattling stuff? Papers. That, is that, is that, anyway. I am doing work. Oh, oh. it might be. <laughs> I'm turning pages. Yeah. Um, Can I just say something? Yeah, and then, sure. then I'll just. Yeah. Um, the thing that got me, I watched the whole documentary too. I got got me hooked on it there, Alex. And uh, that, those the, that gruesome those pictures that never seen before with her head practically chopped <laughs> off like yeah. that. Yeah. Yeah. The, 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 that what? is a crime of passion. I, I'm sorry. That is a crime of passion. I mean, no drug dealer is going to go to those lengths. I, I just that is. That's a crime of passion. The question uh, is, well, well nobody there. in this conversation was, was there when it happened. It's yeah, 20 but, years since this all happened. We, we know there were some uh, improprieties in the investigation, you know, with lost blood samples and things like that. And we know that the L.A. Police Department has a history of uh, doing things extra legal. They've got a 40, 50 year history of that. I gotta go and do a radio show in, in thirty-seven minutes. Oh, oh really? Talk to you. Twenty-three minutes. Ah, yeah. It's twenty-three minutes. Yeah, something, twenty. Yeah, twenty-three minutes. Something called the intersection, but I stay up late at night and make my wife upset because I'm not cuddled up next to her. Oh well. <laughs> Have her come in while you're doing the show and cuddle tell her, up tell to her you. Absence makes a heart grow fonder. Okay. Bye bye. See you bye. later, Jack. Bye. See you, Jack. Uh, yes, uh, Jason. Hey, and wasn't it about the same time that Kurt Cobain committed suicide? Yeah. 
1994 calling but, for but, arguments know, I, back. I, I, I'll, I'll say it if uh, if uh, if Phil isn't going to say it. Of course, it was Obama's fault. <laughs> so. well, uh, that's when we that found out about oh, the God, uh, England pulling out of the EU. Uh, it, it's Obama's fault. And, and, well, uh, the, some people are saying that it's Obama's no. fault, and uh, I don't know if the case isn't a good one, because what they're saying basically is that because he didn't do something about Syria fast enough, uh, the, the Syrian refugee thing happened, and it was the Syrian refugee thing that was the pivotal point in the EU vote. Right, because they kept coming in, and they had open borders, yeah. and... Uh, yeah. uh, and they could swim that channel. Yeah. So why didn't, why didn't the British do something about it then? Yeah, they did. They got uh, they got bombed a few times, and uh, uh, there was a couple of a subway bombing and a couple of other things. And uh, I guess uh, they'd had why enough. Did they go bomb Syria. They wanted they, they wanted the U.S. to go. Why didn't they go? If that's the case. They have a pretty damn powerful military. Yeah. Well, uh, you know, looks why like is it Obama's fault? They could have reacted. Obama went there and put his two cents in. That's that's so what that makes sense. Oh, what no, are you talking I, about? oh, I see. But but Trump went there to his golf course, so isn't it also his yeah, fault? Yeah. Did you? By the way, Patrick, did you see uh, uh, Trump's new golf course on TV today? I, I understand Cameron. He doesn't even want to respond. <laughs> I, I understand Cameron's going to be working there. Uh, uh, he's running the restaurant. Yeah, probably. Probably. He just resigned. Uh, yeah, we know that. I thought he was going to open a Carpet One uh, franchise over there. In London. <laughs> maybe, maybe he wants one over here. <laughs> uh, but anyway. Um, hey, listen, if Nicole Brown would have had a gun, she could have shot OJ. Yeah. And he called the cops and said, look, he no, but, she, me no but according, yeah, to, yeah, according to the documentary, she had a knife. She, 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 wait, a minute, wait a minute. She had a knife and she was killed with her own knife. Yeah. She was afraid. You know, they still haven't been. You know what they didn't do in that trial, Rob? And it's interesting if you if you watch the documentary because it's like, what? It's it's uh, six hours, seven and a half hours long, maybe a little longer than that. Nobody ever came up with the knife. He probably hit it. He threw it away. But you no. don't think he cleaned up after that? He couldn't even come to the door. He cut himself shaving on his fingers. Oh, listen, he didn't. He didn't clean up enough. If if what we no. saw was well, left behind, remember, you know, blood prints it. on the he car and you know things like that. If if that stuff wasn't planted, he didn't clean up a lot. He had the cut marks on his hands. There's also another theory, and this was who was this? I think, I think this was Shapiro. I think said this, that he didn't think that that crime. Oh no, or was it? Or maybe it was uh, what's his name, the uh, the DNA guy. Uh, Schenk. One of them said uh, in an interview that they didn't think the act when it, whoever did it did it by themselves. That there were two people who did it because it isn't the kind of crime that one person could accomplish. OJ said that he was talking. AC to, uh, he was talking to either I think AC or he was talking to his manager where he said. No, but there's if some, I did it because he was doing this whole thing. Yeah. If I did, yeah, that was another thing, Alex. If I did, I'd have somebody else. How about you go away? Maybe it was. Um, he, couldn't, he couldn't get out of the camera's eye. That's what it was. He had to be there. It was like it was a, no, it was like a drug no. Addict. It's because my 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 good friend, what's her name, um, uh, offered him a book deal, and oh, he needed the uh, money. Judith Regan. Judith Regan, and needed the, and she, you know she got she got thrown out of her own publishing company because of that book. I was just saying, and then she went and sued Rupert Murdoch and is my personal hero because she won a ten million dollar judgment. But then oh. when when he won when uh, the Goldmans won, they published the book because they got the rights to the book, and they made it. The book was called "If I Did It," and they took the word "if" and they shrunk it down really small so it looked like "I did it." Uh, well, it's in the in the word in the "I did it." It's in the "I." Yeah. The "if." Yeah. You know. Uh, Why would you even put that book out if you're OJ? Because you're OJ. And, and you, they're going to tell me this is a guy. You lived your whole doesn't have a problem. Getting away doesn't with have an ego. Are you going to listen to an answer here, Anthony? <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's going to change my mind. Yeah. How much is he going to pay uh, for, to, the, to find the, the well, Wait a minute, wait a minute. Well, Rob was saying something important there. Yeah. No, the, the answer is that he's a competitor. He's lived his whole life. And he's gotten away with everything because he was great at everything. And he was, you know, he was, plus, 
and I'm going to go back to it. I believe yeah. the man's brain damaged. I don't care what you say. And I also, I, I, and I also I, think, you know, I also I, think, I, uh, Anthony, do you have a hard time hearing other people talking? At oh, all? I'm because, sorry, Dad. N n n <laughs> no, 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 no. Because sometimes what happens with the Skype is it, it when you're talking, it sometimes yeah. can muffle other people, and then you can't hear when other people are trying to say something. Is what I'm saying. Okay. Um, uh, it, it uh, what were, were we, oh, it could just be that you know at that point in his life he needed the money, you know, and 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 a book like that could have made him a lot of money. Absolutely. I'm to offer to 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 the person who could find the actual killer, uh, he he uh, put up some sort of uh, amount of money or or something. Did they mention that in the Wait, document? Well, the they mentioned that he at one point said, I'm going to find the killers right after the trial was over with. Yeah. You know? spend oh, his he, life money. Huh? He didn't put up any money trying to I find the I don't think killers. so. No, I don't think uh, so. Then I'm not going to blame Tony. He could have, you know, I mean, <laughs> it, it, you know. I heard that. I And I, like I said, I was pretty close to this trial. I didn't hear that he put up money, but he did say he would dedicate his life uh -oh. to finding the killer. And he's, he was doing that right now, sitting there in prison. Uh, and Drop he, the soap. He's up for uh, he's up for parole. Uh, what is it? Next year, I, th I believe. Could be. Yeah. So. And uh, they think he may get it. Actually. I, I think it's fair. I mean, you think he should get it? Yeah. He's been in there five years already. He, he didn't commit murder, according to the law. So he deserves to get out. Yeah. Yeah. You know, we have to go by what the law is, and if. You know, a lot of people get away with crimes uh, because they go to court and they either have a good lawyer or they have a good... There was a guy today I saw on the news, and Tony, you'll be interested in this one, who was found guilty of murdering, I can't remember who now, and he had 12 witnesses saying that he was in Florida at the time of the murder. Jeez. And they found him guilty and sent him away for 20 years. And a current district attorney looked at the case and said there's something fishy here. They, he, gave, he presented them with 12 witnesses who would say he was in Florida at the time of the murders, here in New York. And the New York police refused to go down and interview them. And so he got thrown away on circumstantial evidence that he had all the proof in the world that he didn't do it so today when he went into court they said well you know the district attorney said we want to uh, take do away with all the charges and uh, and take back the case and and uh, pronounce that he's 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 innocent and you know what the guy said no I want you to pursue this case as though I did it he said because I want to show you and prove to you that I'm innocent I'm not going to let you get away with it that easily. Oh. And the judges never heard anything like that from anybody. They go, oh, you're letting me go. See you later. Yeah. Yeah, they can't. Uh, uh, they're not going to put somebody through a trial uh, when they don't believe that he is guilty. Yeah, but he, they believed he was guilty they 20 years ago. Guilty. And he spent 20 years in prison because mm -hmm. they wouldn't t admit and wouldn't go interview his witnesses. What a shame. And he was in Florida. There's this one guy who said, my wife was having a baby at the time. We rushed to the hospital to have the baby. And I remember he was staying with us. There is no way in the time we were at the hospital that he could get on a plane, go to New York, kill somebody, and get back. And that, yeah. to me, is more of a shame than O.J. getting off because it's somebody innocent whose 20 years of their life was just completely... And who couldn't afford the defense. Yeah. You know? Uh, and 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 so you know, uh, 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 and OJ gets away with it if he did it. Uh, that's the price of, of what of our of our system. Where if you got money, you get away with it, and if you don't have money, you don't get away with it. How many rich people are on death rows across the country? Zero. All of the Wall Street people that fucked us, and none of them went to jail yeah. in 2000. They're still fucking us today. Right. Yeah. So nothing. There's nothing really different about that. And now they've got a candidate runner that may be the next president. Yeah. yeah. Oh, Trump. Two. Two. No, Hillary. <laughs> yeah. Trump, yeah. Two. yeah. So, anyway. Two that know how to play the game pretty well. Yeah. So, Patrick, uh, how did you feel about Brexit? <laughs> um, I, 
the irony that I found with the whole thing is after bitching at the United States when we declared our independence, I found it <laughs> ironic that Britain declared its own independence, you know, 240 years after we did, roughly. Copycats. So, you know, I, that's kind of how I was looking at it. I'm thinking that that's pretty interesting, and I, I think it's a good thing for Scotland now because, remember, a year or two ago, they wanted to uh, break away from, the, uh, uh, from Great Britain, and this will give them the opportunity now to do that because they wanted to stay in the European Union. And because they're part of Great Britain, they're shackled to this decision. So I would, I would think, I, I heard on the news that they're going to try to bring that to a referendum again to see if they can uh, become their own nation as well as uh, Northern Ireland. Yeah. How long has uh, Scotland been part of the United Kingdom? Forever. <laughs> it's been a long you know, time. It, that's I just I don't get that whole argument. You know, you're, you're one little fucking island. You're you're insignificant. Why are you sitting there instead of trying to change what you're part of? Why you want to try to break away from it? Because you know, I I can understand breaking away from the EU, but breaking away from the United Kingdom. Well, well you know, there was a vote a, about a, about a year ago, maybe half a year ago, about Scotland becoming its own country and moving away from the uh, British Empire. Well, they and, are their own country. Well, they are, but they aren't. You know, they're part of the United Kingdom. Uh, and that's, that's, that's the point, you know. And uh, the question is, uh, uh, should they or shouldn't they? They decided they didn't want to. They still wanted to be part of the... Uh, uh, should part of, I stay or should I go now? Uh, yeah, it's getting very confusing. Yes, Patrick? Well, Ireland and Scotland, they were taken over by the British. And like they, were, they were their own nation. They had their own culture. And it, you know, it, it's something that's ingrained in them. And I, I certainly would applaud them. I mean, uh, it's like when countries started breaking away from the Roman Empire. How different is your culture than somebody who lives 10 miles away from you? Because literally, you know, what state are you in? Is, well, I, I you know, tell you, no, Jason, I, as I, big as your state? I think you're barking up a slightly wrong tree here because uh, it, it, the Scots are as different from the British as night and day. They've oh, yeah. been two entirely yeah. different cultures. Ireland is, is yeah. as different from Scotland and Britain as night and day. They have literally had their own cultures. And, and in the earlier years, uh, Scotland was fighting uh, Britain, you know, the British. And they were mortal and enemies. I, I would add to that, it would be the same as saying what the difference between Germany and France when they border each other. I mean, there there is a great difference. They've been fighting for years. Uh, the Auslanes Lorraine area. Uh, but I, I think the reason that the Scots lost to the British was that they were wearing a dress, you know? <laughs> Hey, there's nothing wrong with that. Actually, actually, you may have a point there, Phil, because what they wore were kilts, which made it easier to fight on rocks. That's why they wore them, because it gave them the ability to have a wider stance without ripping their pants. And also, yeah. your balls don't get chafed as much. Yeah, that's right. That's right. Easier to pee. Uh, there's, yeah. No, there are several, several military, military groups. Uh, the, the Greeks, same thing. They, had, yeah. they, had, they wore skirts because... It, They're known for. Yeah. But, you know, what? it had nothing to do with fashion. It had more to do with ability to fight. You know. uh, well, plus, I'll tell you something. There's nothing wrong. <laughs> if you look at the way the old kilts were and everything, especially the ones that were subdued and not, you know, didn't look like a box of scotch tape, uh, 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 they were very manly. Uh, what's a good Scottish <laughs> a What? What's a Scottish name, you know? You mean a male in like the man's name? Hell yeah. Bruce. Scott. <laughs> oh, Scott, lay Trump. over this rock. Here, let me lift Trump. your kids. 
Um, uh, Phil, Phil McCracken. Oh, Phil yeah. McCracken. <laughs> yeah, that's it. That's it. <laughs> Hamish is a, is a Scottish name. Hamish? Yeah. Yeah. And it uh, looks like Hamish, but it's Hamish. Uh, if I was Everybody. Hamish, I, I, I wouldn't want to wear a skirt because everybody would be, you know, beating up who, on me. Who was it I had on who, who yelled at me because I he was from Scotland and I kept saying he was Scotch. And he said, there's no such thing as scotch. And I said, yeah, we have tape that's called scotch tape. I mean, that's where I got it from. And he yeah, said, no, you're a Scott. Yeah, you're a Scott. And I can't, re I can't remember who it was. But it, it became a very funny part of the interview. We kept, he kept coming back to me with that, you know. Uh, Sean Connors? No, no. But <laughs> Michael King? No, no. Famous is famous. Fat is, bastard? Huh? Fat bastard? <laughs> no. <laughs> That's a beer. Yeah. Yeah. Well, anyway, you know, I I, I just think today Trump made a big mistake with that whole speech or even going over there to open up that place. He could have sent his family the and they could have. campaign is a big mistake. Well, you, you look, you, you look, you, who are you going to blame? You're going to blame the, uh, the, the messenger? You're going to blame the person who sent the he's, message he's a godlike businessman and he should have some kind of logic going on well up there. he he the only logic he has is he knows how to do tv look you know when when those guys were running for pre for uh candidates for president against him they returned to do certain votes in the senate and so forth because they had a job to do well he's not the president yet and he has a job and he had a job to do and he did it you know, I mean, it's better than a poor bastard going out on welfare or something. You know, uh, he did his job. I mean, it's true. He yeah. His job is also to make sure that his campaign spends most of their money at uh, Trump-owned properties. Well, that's a reasonable thing. I, I agree with that, too, that but, if, well, I'm, if but, I own the properties, I'm going to spend my money there, too. <laughs> yeah. You know, and he might have to worry about food tasters and things like that. He's got it all handled. No, there. I just think I think it was wrong of him to go there. I, I think that at this point, he should do nothing to promote his businesses. This is not what running for president is about. Well, know? he's still a private well, citizen. In his well, he's still a private is. citizen, but he he's running for the highest office in the land. And he should give that a certain dignity. So you, you got know. to advertise all of your businesses before you become president, because once you become the president, you can't advertise them anymore. Well, not only can you not advertise them, you can't really run them or own them, or you know, you well, have to you, you, you have to put it you know, into a blind well, trust. You no, know he's going to wear Trump suits. You know, he's going to eat Trump steaks. He's going to wear Trump underwear. The whole list goes on. I, I, in is, Scotland, he has, he has a Trump kilt. And listen, anybody who buys his steaks from Sharper Image deserves to starve to death. I can use some boxes. Yes, uh, Jason. Hey, have you tried any of those antibiotic uh, free steaks yet or pork no, steaks? I, no, I haven't had a chance yet. Oh, man, you're missing out. Oh, well, no, I believe you. I believe you. You know, cause I just bought some meat this week from, uh, from Costco that was very uninspiring. You yeah. Know? And I mean, usually pretty good. Well, yeah, I just bought some ribeyes. They were no, awesome. No, uh, uh, occasionally, uh, occasionally I get a batch that's just kind of it's mediocre, mm -hmm. you know, um, uh, and I, I don't find that the quality is consistent. At they Costco. have things called tri tips out here. I think it's some sort of shoulder. Uh, a tri tip but, is an old, uh, you know, it's a cut. I can't remember it, where it comes it's from. It's really good. It's cheap. Uh, you know, What's cheap? The tri-tip. No, he how, said, how much? Uh, how much four or five bucks a pound. That's, no, that's wow. good. That's cheap, I guess, today. Yeah. Well, you know, in New York that's State. Still cheap. <laughs> kind of big uh, average American cheap isn't cheap. <laughs> At, uh, Whole Foods, Whole Foods, $16. There's a steak there that was $32 a pound. I'd be that's afraid to eat it. I, I bought pork chops. <laughs> you put breadcrumbs on them or no? My mother breads it up. I've been buying pork butt, man. Putting in the smoker. It's amazing. Really? You got a smoker? Good yeah. for you. I Ooh. wish I had that. Raise the kill. Yeah. I, have, I, I wish I could have a smoker. I, I really do. Uh, because I, I love making ribs. 
Don't you have yeah, roof access there at your apartment? Uh, believe me, uh, you don't want to go up on this roof. Uh, <laughs> You'll be fighting with the heroin. Oh, it, it's scary up there. Yeah, mm -hmm. it's, it's just scary. It's 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 an old roof. Okay, I don't want to take my chances. <laughs> well, yeah, you can wind up back in your apartment. Yeah, they, <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> say, so you and the roof should feel at one. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. Well, so it's been a it's been an interesting week, I guess. Uh, well, uh, thank God the stock exchange is down for the next couple of days. Maybe it'll do better on Monday, or maybe it'll do worse. But you know, the Lord giveth and the Lord taketh uh, away. I don't think it's uh, j this is just the beginning. Yeah, yeah I think so too. Well, it's we'll see. World. We'll it's, see. It's, it's, it's coming to an end, gentlemen. Yeah. What's coming to an end? The world. The world. Yeah, yeah. As we know. Grab your asses and kiss them goodbye. Phil Meyer, thank you. Jason, thank you. Rob, thank you. Patrick, as always, wonderful having you here. Scott, I don't know where he is. He probably went to bed. Uh, as Robert Nic uh, Niccolo, uh, we'll Flash, see, yeah. hopefully we'll hear from you uh, when you get to Texas. It'll be about a should think 1994 for the conversation. Yeah, and and uh, th thank you, Tony. Always a pleasure yeah. having you here. Uh, uh, sorry if we got into a little bit of an argument there, but you have a hard time hearing us, I think. I'm sorry. Yeah, that's okay. It's no problem. And uh, thanks also to uh, Mr. Lee from Hawaii, and thank you to uh, 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 who, Diane. Who, who else do we have here? Uh, huh? Oh, oh, what? oh here, here we go. I got the list. Ro James Lee. Uh, let's see here. And that's about it. And then, Jack. Uh, huh? Jack. Jack, of course. So, anyway, that's it. Good night, everybody. Good Thanks night. for Have joining me. Bye bye. We'll see, we'll see you. Happy birthday, Phil. Thank you. Okay. Anyway, that's it for tonight. I'm Alex Bennett. That's it for our citizens panel. That's it for our little TV presentation. And uh, we'll see you all again on, uh, let's see, I guess it's going to be uh, Tuesday over most of this same cabinet station. Hey, we're running a little late. The Intersection is next with Jack and Amy. It's a great show. Please pay attention to them. I'm Alex Bannon, and as always, if you see her, tell her I love her, okay? Okay, and I just want to say to the TV people, thank you so much for having joined us this evening, and uh, we'll uh, we'll see you again uh, 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 next Friday. Bye.